to my groom. My heart's already beating. <laughs> Stephen Matthew, Happy, Happy 62621. After exactly a year and a half of planning, our day, day is finally here. here. Three years ago, that I was, was in a tough place. place. I had just turned the dreaded 30 and was watching what seemed like everyone around me find their person, get married, and start their families, something I have wanted for longer than I can remember. I started to convince myself that I missed my opportunity. Beside the storm in the way you're meant to, I couldn't say for sure. I mean, when you came to for more in you. Say rest assured, we were made for this. I asked my dad nearly every night to send me the man of my dreams. And Dad, well as always, he over-delivered. Shana, I am so incredibly thankful our paths crossed when they did a few short years ago. <sighs> wow, babe. You look stunning. Oh my goodness. You look great. <laughs> oh. You gave my life so much more significance, meaning, and direction. There is no doubt that marrying you is the best decision I have ever made. I love you today, tomorrow, and the rest of my days. Your soon-to-be husband, Steve. <laughs> Steve, Shayna, this day is made possible not only because of your love for each other, but through the grace and support of your family and friends. It is our hope that your fulfillment and joy in each other will increase with each passing year. After she checked the college box and the career box, Shayna went on another type of mission, a mission to find a man. <laughs> And in true Shana style, she got organized. She started with making a list of criteria, and now I'm gonna read you that list. So get, get comfortable. Now I've known Shana for a very long time. I consider her one of my very best friends. When I asked her why she chose Steve, she said, Erica, he is the kindest person I've ever known. You can all hear her saying that. He has the greatest smile she's ever seen, and he's always happy. No, like really, always happy. Forever in a good mood. One of the many reasons he's her favorite person to be around. When I asked Steve why he chose Shayna, he said, Shayna is extremely caring, driven, intelligent, and a loving woman. She carries an unwavering spark for life that is simply contagious. Shayna values the people she surrounds herself with in a way that Steve never thought possible. He wishes that Shayna's father, James, could be here today.
because he knows how much he means to Shayna. I cried when she told me because I knew that her search was over and that my little sissy had found the happiness I've always wanted for her. I also cannot go without mentioning that these would be the same qualities our dad would have wanted for Sheena. So Steve, I can confidently speak for him and let you know that he approves of you and I am positive he is here today celebrating this marriage. And you see that Shayna once told me that where the sun hits the water out there and it sparkles, that's her dad. He's got the best seat in the house to watch his little girl get married. After my dad's passing, I really struggled with where my place was. I spent many holidays feeling like a guest joining someone else's tradition. But, but today, today, that, that all, all changes. changes. You single-handedly have made everything I've ever hoped for a reality. With this ring, I give, I you, give my you my heart. heart. I promise to choose you from this day forward. To stand by your side. And sleep in your arms. To be joy to your heart. And food for your soul. I vow, I vow to, to love, love and cherish you as long as I, as I live. live. First off, look how beautiful Shana looks. Shayna's beauty is making Kratzy look better, and that's a hard feat to do. <laughs> we really had the best childhood ever. We really did. We lived about half a mile from each other. We always met each other halfway. I still remember his landline number. It's 231-845-1197. <laughs> 04 Woodlawn, in case anybody wants to get stalkerish. So. We would always meet each other halfway, and that's been the story of our whole lives growing up together. He had a best friend that had Napoleon Syndrome. But Stephen always carried himself with such confidence that I was so envious of. He was so good at everything he did, and he held himself so well. And he continues to do that. Insert Shayna. First time I met Shayna was at a family dinner and none of you probably have attended family dinner except for some of us, and that gets so inappropriate. <laughs> Shayna walked in and instantly challenged all of us, and we're like, holy cow, somebody come in with the comments that Shayna has. <laughs> Shayna instantly challenged me about credit unions, challenged me about my confidence, called me short. <laughs> but I knew that this is the woman for Kratzy that she could tighten that leash instantly. <laughs> Steve considers himself the luckiest guy in the world to be sharing in life's journeys with Shayna. We're gonna save that one. <laughs> it is my honor to now pronounce you husband and wife. Steve, you may kiss your bride. I'll leave you with a couple things here. One's a truth, one's a lie. One, money doesn't buy happiness. That's truth. <laughs> Second, good sex doesn't make a good marriage, and that's a lie. <laughs> Keep that thing going on a weekly basis. You guys are still young. I was worried about that one. <laughs> <laughs>